What's going on guys? My name is Naveen Verma and I welcome you all to my first video on my favorite creature on, on our planet is the snake. Uh, well it sounds a bit weird but you know, it's my favorite animal. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you the reason behind that but first of all let me introduce myself. I'm not a celebrity so you may not know me so I would like to introduce myself first before anything. Okay. So, my name is Naveen Verma, and ever since I can remember, I've been interested in the dangerous and the most exotic wildlife on our planet. For about seven years or so, I think it's seven, I think from my ninth grade, and I was just uh, fascinated by the world of snakes, and I've been doing a lot of research on the evolution of snakes and how snakes have been adapted, I mean adapting to the environment, environment around them, I mean from the past dinosaur era to a current human predominance. So it's been really fascinating, this journey has been really great. And I've sent a lot of, a lot of uh, project work to WWF, I mean it's not the World Wrestling Federation, I'm kind of, uh, kind of kicking like that, but it's the World Wildlife Fund. Uh, it's sort of fun which deals with animals so I've got some reviews but you know it, it, it was not published in any of its journals so I'm pretty sad about it so I've decided to make a video right now which will focus on something about snakes okay some basic concept about snakes I mean why snakes are beautiful and what why the heck did I like snakes and something like that but I think I promise you that it will be interesting so um and I'd like to mention something like, you know, um, I'm from Bhatnavili, it's in southern India, uh, a small village, but, uh, okay, let's, uh, you know, I've uh, been saving some of the most rarest and endangered, uh, don't tell me to name them, but, uh, but before we enter into our video, enter into our main essence, uh, let me tell you a small quotation, that is, um, the more meat we eat, the more cows there are produce greenhouse gases, so eat a balanced diet and save the planet. Of course, the animal's planet. Uh, meanwhile, I'd like to tell you something, guys. Uh, I've been popping up this window, it's, it's, it's a big bit of cobra and a snake. Don't worry about it, it's just a pure... It just uh, tells you that I'm going to tell you, tell you about snakes. Okay, let's move on to our, our sense of our video, so... Snakes are one of the most prevalent creatures on our planet. They have a wide range of uh, habitat than most of any other species of animals on our planet. And the most fascinating feature in snakes is their locomotion. So that's what I like in snakes. I mean, how the heck they move? Isn't it bizarre without limbs, snakes have a sophisticated method of movement? Yeah, of course, that's, they do. Most of the snakes move in serpentine motion, that is by S-shaped curves. Some move in concertina-like motion like, you know, the most of the ground-dwelling snakes. And some have the most, much bizarre techniques in moving, that is moving side face body. This is the most promising one. I'd like to show you uh, an example of it. There you go. This is the sidewinder. As you can see, it's moving sideways. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool, huh? There's a bit of rattle in it. Don't, don't worry about it. Sidewinders do have a rattle sometimes, but... Okay, so what happens right here is that first of all they lift their first half of the body and moves forward and the rest of the body follows it. So this is pretty cool, huh? This enables the snake to move sideways and to move and to climb the biggest sand dunes in the world. Of course that's in Africa, I don't mind that. So the sidebinder is a perfect example of them. And the main the main factor about snakes is that I mean, you know, promising feature about snakes is that they can they can live on the land, underground, underwater, and, and can even glide like a hawk buddy. Among these features, the most fascinating and unrenowned feature of course is gliding. Now, do you believe snakes snakes glide? Well, of course some do, but you know in the tropical forests of Eastern Asia there lives this bizarre creature known as the flying snake or the golden tree snake buddy. Um I like to show it. Well, um, there you go. Beautiful little snake. Right there, beautiful little eyes. This is the golden tree snake bodies for you. And, you know, why the heck it is called golden tree snake? I don't know. Just don't kill it. There isn't any gold in that snake. Just do watch it and enjoy. So, 
Even though it's mildly venomous, its amazing technique is gliding. In their local habitat, there are some lizards which developed a flap-like skin in their midsection, and this enables them to glide from one tree to, a, to another when they're threatened. To catch the prey like these lizards, I mean, the lizard of course, it's named Draco lizard, you can see that. There's a flap-like skin in its midsection, which enables it to glide, I mean, to fly uh, almost. And and to catch the prey like this Draco lizard, the snake will also follow it. And if the lizard glides, the snake never gives up, and it will also glide along with the lizard to have it for a lunch, to supper, a dinner, what the heck you say, say it, snakes don't mind. Every individual snake has its own speciality. There are more than 2,700 species of snakes on the planet, and still, there are lots more to be discovered. And, you know, still one can recognize the importance of snakes only in their absence. That's the golden word, write that, jot, jot that down. I mean, people are killing snakes for their fun, buddy. They cannot recognize the need of snakes to our planet and its mighty food chain. I mean, they create a certain balance in the mighty food chain. Most people I mean, are scared about snakes, I mean, only because of their venom. Snakes develop venom only to kill their prey and to protect themselves from predators like humans. Well, human is not a predator, I reckon. At least for now. However, snakes do not use their venom unless they are threatened. There are only 400 species of snakes which are venomous in our world. And the other 2,300 species of snakes, is that right? 2,700 minus 400? Yes, that's pretty damn sure. Are completely harmless to human beings. Every year, nearly half a million people will be bitten by snakes. That's an estimation. Uh, don't ask who, who has done that survey. I don't know. This is the main reason why people are scared about snakes, but people don't mind how many snakes will be killed by humans every year. It was estimated that nearly half a billion snakes were killed every year by humans. And, you know, one of a billion snakes were marketed for their skins and also as a food source. A lot of uh, people love snakes. I mean, they eat snakes. Uh, they kind of love the meat, right? If this continues to go on, I mean, there will be no snake left in our world by 2000. Well, what is to made to be? 100 years, maybe. 2,100. Pretty cool, huh? Okay. And right now, we finished one heck of a part of snakes, so... I think this is enough for you guys. I mean, for this talk, for this video, I think I've done more than a basic video. So, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. It's like a kind of tutorial, you know, if you're entering into a herpetology class, you know, it's what you kind of introduce your, your teacher might introduce you with this kind of topic. So, that's pretty cool, huh? And let's uh, let's get into the gist of the topic in the other in the other video. That's, that's what I'm going to make and I'll see you there. Goodbye. Thank you for watching, meanwhile.